Can I go ahead? Yes. It's always ready. It's like that. Uh, good afternoon. And uh, we participated on the informal interactive dialogue called by Ireland. There was uh, a very productive engagement with uh, council members. Uh, we discussed about uh, humanitarian access and also uh, the report that was uh, presented by OCHA regarding uh, famine in Ethiopia, which uh, we uh, vehemently disagreed with their uh, assessment because uh, they utilized you know, uh, a very botched approach uh, when it comes in collecting data, because the Ethiopian government didn't agree with that. It, it, does, it was not done in a transparent and inclusive way. The materiology that has been deployed to collect data was completely wrong because they used uh, a couple of cell phones in rural Ethiopia to collect the uh, data. So uh, there was a difference on those uh, points. But in having said that, uh, using uh, humanitarian issues, and particularly famine, uh, as uh, uh, you know, and starvation, in order to exert undue uh, pressure on Ethiopia is completely unacceptable. Ethiopia, in the first place, doesn't believe that uh, the matter under consideration warrants the attention of the Security uh, Council. Nevertheless, uh, we appreciated, uh, you know, the in, in closed consultation uh, ended uh, because the spirit of the discussion was ended very, very helpful. So uh, Ethiopia wishes uh, to ascertain that uh, the law enforcement measure that we have taken in Tigray region was indeed imposed upon us. Uh, as any sovereign nation uh, in that kind of situation, we would definitely would definitely respond. What we did is, as any worldly, gov worldly government would do, we, respond, we responded to the act attack perpetrated by a renegade group in the Tigray region of Ethiopia. When we say just simply a renegade group, it looks like a very small-sized army, but uh, they trained close to 200,000 special forces and militia and attacked the Ethiopian uh, military. That's where the uh, law enforcement uh, measure was uh, taken. So uh, the other issue that uh, we very much appreciated that some council members declare a uh, substantial amount of assistance to the humanitarian effort uh, uh, that is being undertaken in Ethiopia. We are very much grateful to the United Kingdom, including uh, others, and as well as China. So uh, we hope that uh, many other countries will also join on our effort to elevate this uh, challenge that we are facing. One of the issues that uh, I have to speak at Samuel Lengas was regarding hunger uh, and famine. Because uh, in our history, there's nothing that we are afraid of except hunger and famine. It is, it is indeed a lived memory. Uh, we have seen grief of hunger and also the trauma of famine. So uh, the issue of hunger and famine should not be at all politicized. So uh, when someone labels us that we are using starvation as an instrument of uh, uh, weapon or war, uh, it indeed pain us. It brings back uh, a terrible memory of hunger. So, uh, if, as I said in the council, if uh, we did it, of course, we will definitely carry the albatross around our neck. The guilt will be on us. But we, we, would we do it? No, we won't. Because we have lived for many years through that. So, uh, labeling uh, Ethiopia in such a manner is completely unacceptable and uh, it tarnishes our national values 
which very, mu very much we care. And if people believe, believe that, uh, you know, uh, we don't have chilliness, that coldness in our soul and heart. So that's what we told the council. So uh, this is not an issue to the council. We are trying our level best to bring peace and stability in Tigray and other parts of uh, Ethiopia. Thank you very much. Ambassador. Mr. Yeah. Ambassador, yeah. Um, a few questions. First, um, your Prime Minister, Mr. Abiyé, um, said that all your all Eritrean troops would leave Ethiopia, yet um, people on the ground still see them there. When when is that going to happen? And uh, we know from briefings here that the humanitarian community has asked for access to all areas of Tigray, and they say that they have not gotten it. When is the government going to allow access to all areas of Tigray? Thank you. Thank you, dear. Uh, there's an unfettered access. But in the, on, on sometimes when there are uh, some skirmish here and there, of course, you know, there we have established what we call it a military civilian coordination committee. And through that mechanism, you know, it will be cleared. And then if need be, a food supply will be escorted by military. If not, it will, the area will be cleared and will move to the uh, destined area. So we have a very strong commitment that access is guaranteed by all means. But we see, as I said earlier, some challenges here and there. So for the uh, good of the humanitarian workers, we don't, want to be the, we don't want them to be in harm's way. It could be stopped for a couple of hours, for a day, and then, of course, it proceeds. So in areas where there are some pockets of resistance, indeed, uh, there are some limitations but our determination and commitment is to reach out uh, to the needy people uh, who very much are uh, looking for the assistance that the government is providing. Mind you, 70% of the uh, food and non-food item is uh, being allocated by the government itself, closing some of our major infrastructure pro programs in other parts of the country, and closing it, allocating the fund, to purchase food, non-food items, and then send it to the Tigray, and also to other parts of the region as well. Secondly, regarding the Eritrean, there is a commitment from my government, and the Eritreans have made it clear as well, that uh, it is a matter of sorting out some technical and procedural issues. They will, our expectation is that they will definitely leave soon. Thank you. Good, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.